So today I got something really cool for you guys. As you know, I've been kind of nerding out on the AI stuff for the last couple of months, and this kind of application is what I've been waiting for. A chatbot that I can train on my own data from the transcripts of all the videos I've put out, all the Sync Edge Q&As, the syndicate videos I've done over the years, my YouTube channel, the Sync Academy tutorials, my podcast, all of the stuff that I've basically put out online in the last six or seven years. I wanted to be able to turn that all into text transcripts and feed it into my own chatbot to basically create an AI version of myself that I can outsource and scale up and make available to you guys 24-7. I have now been able to do that. I've actually found a company that was able to let me do this and enabled me to do it for a reasonable fee, of course. But I'm really, really excited for it because I know that many of you guys getting involved in sync licensing have a lot of questions and a lot of them are sort of like repeatable questions that we get often on the platform. And up until now, if you wanted to get answers to that, you'd probably have to search through the Sync Academy tutorials, maybe search through my YouTube channel email me, post in the Sync Academy platform, and those are all okay, but what if you could basically just type in your question and get an answer from me, you know, it's not me, but it's basically from all the stuff that I put out there, and get sort of Jesse's take on it through the AI version of me instantly, 24 seven, anytime, don't have to wait for me to email you back, don't have to wait for anybody to answer your question, don't have to go searching through the tutorials to find your question. I think that's really empowering, I think that's really amazing. So. Starting today, I'm going to make this AI chatbot version of me available to all of you guys in Sync Academy, just for those of you in Sync Academy. I'm not going to make it available to anybody on the outside. Um, if you guys are in Sync Academy, this is now just included in your membership. So I want to just give you guys this uh, hopefully really helpful piece of technology. So I want to just take, a t uh, take it for a spin today on today's YouTube video so you guys can see what this is capable of and just give it some example you know, uh, questions that you might potentially have and how you can start using this. So please do take advantage of this. If you're in Sync Academy, by the way, you'll see a new link popping up that says AI Jesse Chatbot. That's the one you can basically start using um, and get access to this. So I don't know, let's say you had a question about um, a reversion clause. If you knew, you'd heard the term, but you didn't know what it was, what is a reversion clause? So what it's doing now is digging through all of the transcripts that I fed it and trained it on. A reversion clause is a provision in a contract that allows the creator of intellectual property, such as music tracks, to regain ownership and control of those assets if certain conditions are met. Need to know anything else? It's like, hmm, yeah, I wanna know how long is a reversion clause. I wonder if it'll find out because I usually say two to three years uh, for all the videos that I've been giving you guys. Typically a period of three years. There you go. So it's definitely getting a lot of these things right. Um, and I've, I've tested this <laughs> well before this, but I've uh, just given you guys an idea of what it can do. Um, how can I research the right music library for my music? Let's see what it does with this one. I actually haven't asked it this one yet. I'm curious how it's going to do. You can research the right music library for your music by conducting an online search using terms like production music library, TV film, music library, or sync licensing. This will help you find various libraries that may be suitable for your needs. Additionally, you can consider using resources such as a music library directory or seeking recommendations from trusted sources like Sync Edge. Double thumbs up for me. I do I do appreciate that. Um, it gave me basically a little shout out to one of my services, so that's really cool. Um, let's see what else we might wanna ask it. Um, I'm struggling to stay motivated writing music. Can you help? I've also uploaded many of my motivational chats and podcast episodes, so I'm curious actually how it's going to handle this one. Yes, I can help. When you're struggling to stay motivated while writing music, it can be helpful to take breaks and engage in activities that make you feel good, such as exercising or going to concerts. I've definitely said that many times. Additionally, setting small and achievable goals for yourself in the studio can help build momentum and creativity. That's actually really powerful too. I've said that a lot. Remember not to overwhelm yourself with lofty expectations and be kind to yourself during periods of low motivation. Man. This is doing it. This is exactly what I wanted this thing to do is to basically just synthesize and summarize all the stuff I've basically said over the years and put it into one easy to swallow sort of paragraph. So that's really, really helpful. Um, let me see if I can ask it maybe a little bit more of a technical question. How should I structure my sync tracks? Let's see what it's doing. This is probably a little more 
Based on the context provided, it is suggested to structure sync tracks with an attention-grabbing intro, yes, solid foundation in a low mid-range. It's important to avoid overcrowding the mix with excessive elements and high-end frequencies. Additionally, it is re recommended to research music libraries or sync agents that are suitable for your particular genre. So, okay, got a little bit unfocused at the end there, but definitely there's some solid stuff there. Um, how long should my sync tracks be? This one should be fairly easy. I've said this so many times in so many different videos. I don't think it'll have a hard time coming up with this answer. Based on the information provided, sync tracks usually last between two and three minutes long. That's absolutely what I recommend. So just giving you guys a quick little sneak peek of what this is uh, all about, what it can potentially do. And for those of you that are going to be starting to use it in Sync Academy, if you see any sort of glaring problems or issues, definitely let me know about it. I will try to fix it any possibly, you know, any way I can. And I'm going to continuously feed this thing with new information. So this chat bot's just going to get better and better and better as time goes on. Um, and I think this is going to be one of those instances where some of you guys that have been feeling that AI is just all negative news and it's just not helpful and it's doing nothing but just, you know, creeping into our lives and just destroying our way of life. Um, hopefully you can see something like this as the potential for it being enabling and empowering for us, right? So, of course, there's a part of me that feels a little weird outsourcing some of my knowledge to a chat bot and sort of replacing myself. But, you know, my philosophy of all of this is basically if I'm not disrupting myself and not embracing this technology and finding ways to empower myself and empower you guys with it, um, then for sure we're going to be swimming uphill or swimming uphill. We're going to be climbing uphill and we're going to be drowning um, in a lot of this just new technology that just seems overpowering and overwhelming. And we're not looking for ways for it to empower us. So I hope you guys can basically just start using one iteration of it in a way that can get you answers quickly, get you motivated, maybe faster, um, whatever it might be for you guys. So please do give me some feedback on it. For those of you in the Sync Academy, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this and how we can potentially make this better, but definitely start using it. This is a, certainly a new um, asset that's available to all of you guys. It's sort of going to be coinciding with this new uh, AI proofing your music series that we're going to be releasing on August 1st in Sync Academy. And that's going to be this very comprehensive new list of, of tutorials. I think it's going to be 15 to 20 new tutorials, maybe even more than that. But basically, all of them are going to be centered around how to create more human elements in your music, also how to brand yourself um, a little bit more um, consciously. Essentially, a lot of us have not been, you know, thinking about our brand as a sync licensing producer, but we really need to start thinking of, our, of ourselves as a sync artist. So we have a lot of helpful tips and insights to get you guys basically better prepared for the AI revolution that is certainly coming into our world. And even if it never does, this course will make all of you guys better producers, stronger composers, and it'll put you in a much stronger position in the future, regardless of what happens with AI. So stay tuned. Some really exciting things are coming into Sync Academy August 1st.